Hi guys, my name is Jessica with Rosewater Conservatory and you're here about the homeschool art show. I am super excited. Uh, I was hoping to have it done before now, but the sign up is live. It is bit.ly backslash art show 2020. Capitalization counts, folks. Capitalization counts. A few things. When you register at the Sign Up Genius, please be sure to note how many pieces you will have. You can have up to three. Um, once I feel better, you will receive an email confirming your registration, sending you the rules about framing, and at any point, if you have questions or concerns, please feel free to email me at rosewaterconservatory at gmail.com. You can reach out on Facebook. Uh, you can comment on this video and I'll find it and reply to you. Um, uh, and first and foremost, I, I am the only human doing this. So please be uh, a little bit patient and kind and understanding. Of course, this is the first year that this is happening at the Bel Air Branch Library. I want to shout out and say thank you to them for hosting it. Um, apparently there had been other shows, but we haven't really had a consistent one. Um, I look forward to handing this off next year to a group of homeschool uh, high school students. Um, so if you have a high school student who would be interested in carrying this over next year, please let me know. Um, we'll get them in on the ground floor and prep for next year as well. <coughs> what kind of art are we accepting? We are accepting um, photography, original photography, print photography, um, prints of multimedia stuff so you're welcome to make something in Minecraft and then print it off that's the key it needs to be framed for the most part because the equipment that the library is lending us is um, it, it is only to be used with framed artwork if you have what is considered an oversized art piece please email me because I'll need to get an easel or a stand or something to hold that piece. Same thing with 3D objects. If you're working with clay, paper, um, anything 3D, please get in touch with me. We'll need to see how many tables we need. If we need some small easels, if you have small easels and you want to bring them, <coughs> mm, sorry, um, please let me know. Again, if you have any questions at any point in time, please reach out to me. It may take me a day or two to get back to you. Please be patient, um, but I will get back to you. Um, the uh, registration for the art show closes at, on March 22nd. I'm going to be strict about that, okay? I'm not being rude. I need to make sure we have enough panels because if we don't have enough panels, I need to beg, borrow, um, or buy uh, additional panels. Probably beg or borrow. Um, I am very grateful to the Hartford Artists Association of who I am a member and who we are getting our juror and a tremendous amount of our volunteer pool from for this event. So again, shout out, Hartford Arts Association. Um, the rules to get in. You have to be a Hartford County homeschool child between the ages of pre-kindergarten to 12th grade. That's it. Um, unfortunately, we had to close it to other counties because <coughs> our pupil personnel worker told me homeschool kids are actually the biggest school in the county. So if every homeschool kid in Hartford County decides to submit three art pieces, uh, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. So please, if you only have one that you want to submit, that's fine. That's fine. If you need a uh, feedback, specific, uh, specific, uh, noted things that you want feedback or, uh, anything, do you have questions about for our jurors, for the teachers that are volunteering? Um, if your teacher is volunteering, they will not be allowed to work with your work. Just a thing. Just a thing. Um, but if, if your curriculum says, hi, sweetheart. If your curriculum says you need feedback regarding X, Y, and Z, I need you to bring a printed, uh, a printed paper of that when you bring your work to turn it in for the art show. Or email me with it and wait till I confirm that I have it so that I can print it for the art show. Um, when you're preparing your, your artwork for drop-off, 
me as someone who has shown before, I always stick an address sticker on the back of my frame. It's, it's easy to find. Um, on your picture wire that we're going to use to hang your photos on, photos or art, um, you need to take an index card. I have like a million index cards, but of course I don't have one now. You need to take an index card, punch a hole in it, write your name, phone number, uh, grade level, um, and this will all be in the rules, um, and, and punch a hole in it and then tie it to the frame. Why? Because your names will not be posted up. Why? Because it is technically a juried exhibition. And while we do not have awards per se, no money in, no money out. You are not charged to be in this show. Um, but we don't have fabulous cash prizes because of that. Um, so please know that you will receive a small piece that denotes you as um, uh, best in photography, best in pastels. Um, however, I, I end up breaking down once I see what everyone's registering for. Um, whatever uh, uh, my brain is on Sudafed. Uh, however, we end up breaking up the presentation. <coughs> um, take pictures of your artwork. That's another thing. Um, before you drop it off, take a picture of your art in the frame. Why? Because worst case scenario, if, you're, if your address label falls off, and I'm like, I can't find your picture. What, what did it look like? You can bring it up on your phone and be like, this is my picture. And I'll be like, oh, I know exactly what that is. Let me get that for you. When you drop it off, we need a parent to be there. We need a legal guardian over the age of 18 to be there. Why? I know it's a bit of hassle. I'm sorry. Um, we need a parental guardian to sign our waiver um, because the Bel Air Library is not responsible if anything should happen to your artwork. Heaven forbid the library catches on fire. No one is responsible for saving all the art in the room. So uh, we appreciate the parental support within the community as always, but important stuff too. <coughs> when you drop off, you will sign that waiver. You sign the intake sheet. You'll see me looking way better than this. And again, if you have any questions, I hope that you, you ask them before March 22nd, because at that point we're going to be getting ready to, to hang and I'll be laying out the room. So let's, let's make sure that we're good with our time and focusing on the different portions of the process. You'll get the intake sheet, um, and you'll be dropping off on April Fool's Day. I'm sorry, I tried to change it. I really did. Um, but that's that's the day that we get, so that's the day that we get. Um, Drop-off will be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, I will be there. There Hopefully will be some volunteers, but I will be there <coughs> from 10 to 2. If for whatever reason you cannot make drop-off, you need to let me know immediately, okay? Okay. Um, only because it's, it's, a, it's a huge hassle. We all have tiny people, so you know how that goes. Um, pick up. There will be a reception. Um, the library picks a date of 429th, so the last Wednesday of the month, will be a reception from 10 to 2. Um, I may shorten it from 10 to 1, uh, just so you guys can socialize a little bit and then pick up your stuff and head out. Pick up will be after whatever that time period, whatever that time period is. <laughs> Uh, and I will let you know as soon as I have more confirmation. I'm still waiting to hear back from the library about a few more things. But we appreciate, again, everything that they've done for us and offering the space and offering us some frames. Again, um, the, re the shortcut to the registration of the sign-up genus is bit.ly backslash, give me a sec, babe, uh, art show 2020. Okay, let me flash it up again. All right, and again, this is for April 2020. Um, I, I'm probably forgetting a few things here. Uh, I appreciate your patience. <coughs> I'm going to try and make uh, another video with some hints and tips and tricks. Um, oh, uh, just a quick story. Uh, I had my first juried exhibition uh, last year. I paid $10 per piece to have my work considered in the exhibition. I just went in three pieces. It's $30. I was nervous as anything. Like, I didn't... I, I was anxious for like two weeks straight it was like a month before we finally heard back about that exhibition I didn't none of my pieces got into the exhibition none of them none of them and uh at first I was a little I was a little hurt but I want I want our kids to know that be very cautious what you do with what people give to you especially our older kids especially our older kids um artwork is kind of a piece of you 
And when people have the opportunity to judge or give feedback on that, sometimes we take that way too personally, or we become a little perfectionist. It's me, me, me. Um, in, in what we decide to put forth. So I want you to know that no matter what you put forth, it is good enough because you're good enough, right? Um, and we are very, very excited to see all of your pieces. So even if you don't get a little piece of paper that says you're awesome, yep. you're still awesome. You tell them. Say, you are still awesome. You're still awesome. <laughs> Darn tootin'. Darn tootin'. Um, so please don't be anxious or nervous. Again, if you have questions, uh, parent or kids, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, we appreciate everyone volunteering and getting excited to get involved. We are really looking forward to uh, hopefully our first annual homeschool art show with the Bel Air branch of the library. So thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.